Hey ladies, this is Mocha Mommy here bringing you another video. And in this video, I am going to give you some of my Major League Baseball postseason picks, as well as a couple of fun antidotes you may not know about some of the players, the teams, and a little bit of the culture around the sport. What we're in now are, are called the wild card games. These are teams who have not won their respective division titles, with the exception of St. Louis. We'll go over them. Um, but these are teams who will have to have a long road, a higher, longer road to get to the World Series from where they are because they didn't win their respective divisions in baseball. OK, now the first wild card game was against a division leader, the National League Central St. Louis Cardinals and the Philadelphia Phillies. I don't think anybody saw this score coming. Um, St. Louis Cardinals are the favorites by far. And not as if I'm hating on Phillies, okay? Because I like the Phillies. First of all, I love me some Kyle Schwarber. Bryce Harper is the textbook perfect baseball player. And he married his high school sweetheart. Who can hate on that? Also, JT Real Muto. I mean, who don't mind looking at JT, you know, in the postseason? I don't mind seeing JT in the postseason. But there are times when they can play a little sloppy and really, frankly, look like a bunch of little leaguers out there. But the St. Louis Cardinals have a very strong offensive and defensive roster, uh, including Albert Pujols, future Hall of Famer, undoubtedly Yadier Molina, also possibly a Hall of Famer, the catcher who has allowed the least amount of stolen bases, as well as he comes from Puerto Rican baseball royalty. His dad coached the Puerto Rican national team, and every single one of his brothers is a World Series winning catcher. You also have Golden Glover, Nolan Arenado, a very good offensive weapon and pretty easy on the eyes. In addition to Paul Goldschmidt, all-star first baseman, Golden Glover, and great hitter. And don't mind looking at Paul in the postseason either. Now, the next wild card matchup in the National League is the San Diego Padres versus the New York Mets. Now, this is not just me being petty because I'm a diehard Mets fan, but let me tell you something. The San Diego Padres is one of the ugliest teams in baseball, okay? You got the third baseman. He looked like he can do the Lord of the Rings without the prosthetics, looking like an elf. Then you got... The pitches, the pit, both pitches is ugly. Your outfielders is ugly. This team, let me tell you something. You see the San Diego Padres, don't feed them after midnight because that's a team full of gremlins. They ugly. But Juan Soto and Josh Bell are undeniable sluggers. And Yoon Kim is probably one of the best base dealers in the league right now. But I am not going to count out my New York Mets. They have great leadership under Buck Showalter. If you ladies watched the Derek Jeter special, remember Buck Showalter was one of the only few managers in baseball history to curse out the legendary George Steinbrenner. So uh, hands off, hats off to Buck. Um, so we also have pretty consistent hitters in Francisco Lindor, Mark Canna, Sterling Marte, who I think looks like my dad, and Jeff McNeil. We also have sluggers like P you also have sluggers like two-time home run derby winner Pete Alonso, and two of the best pitchers in all of Major League Baseball in Jacob Degrom and Max Scherzer. Now let's go over to the American League with the Tampa Bay Devil Rays versus the Cleveland Guardians. People are still very much getting used to the name change from the Cleveland Indians to the Cleveland Guardians, but I called this one and I called it because of the talent of outfielder Stephen Kwan. Stephen Kwan has one of the highest on base percentages than any player in the American League. Uh, if you ever wanna know where Steven at, y'all, Steven on base. This man gets on base and therefore he can always maximize his runs. So he gets his Amazon packages a little bit to first at this point. This man stays on base. You want to ever want to know where Steven at? Steven on base. I was genuinely very happy to see the Seattle Mariners beat the Toronto Blue Jays zero to four, but I think Castillo pitched a brilliant game. Um, but I really am going to give this series to the Toronto Blue Jays. I just feel as if you, when you have sluggers like Vladimir Guerrero and Bo, Rolisette, Bachet, I call him Rolisette because his hair. <laughs> but I just really think that that team is just so stacked. I also feel that George Springer, 
and Matt Chapman just bring a lot of experience to the dugout and pitcher UCL Kikuchi. He is one of the most merciless pitchers. I mean, you see him strike a batter out and you just turn into Kiki Palm and be like, sorry to that man. <laughs> He's merciless. He is like a surgeon on that mound. He is an amazing pitcher. So it's been a really fun series and it's corresponding with Oktoberfest. So I just want to encourage you ladies to get out. And also if those big money teams, Houston, the Dodgers, San Diego and Seattle, two big money teams as well. Um, once they start getting out and their fans start showing up, just look forward to a lot more excitement, a lot more interaction. We're kind of hitting a sports trifecta with preseason hockey, playoff caliber baseball, football being in full swing for college and professional. So I just want to encourage you ladies to get out and have some fun because it's going to be a great interactive time and it's a good opportunity to mix and mingle. This is Mocha Mommy and I'll see you in the next video.